Scorpion PSA training, how to create knowledge base articles. In Scorpion 8.02, you can create knowledge base articles for technical support purposes. Simply go to the Sales and Service menu, click on the Knowledge Base link, that'll launch to Knowledge Base Director. With the Knowledge Base Director, you have two options the Knowledge Base Viewer, which gives you a list of the current articles in the Knowledge Base, and to create a new Knowledge Base entry. First, we'll look at the Knowledge Base Viewer. That gives you a list of all the articles. Simply click on the number of the article to get the details of the article. Now you'll see a reference key, a vendor, a customer link, which is unique to Scorpion PSA 8.02. You can link any article to a particular customer so that it will appear in that customer profile. The structure of the knowledge base is similar to that of Microsoft. You have your symptoms, your cause, and your resolution. You can input a web link, a see also, and applies to for additional search criteria. When you create an, an article, it automatically records who entered it. Simply click Save and Exit, and now you've just created a knowledge base article. These articles are also available online via the Scorpion Interactive web portal for customers to search. So if we close this, now we can create a new knowledge base entry. With the reference key, you can simply pull the drop down, or you can type in a particular reference key. In this case we'll just use test. And the vendor we can call it data tech. And in this case we'll go ahead and link this to the data tech customer account. The title will be printing issues with copiers. The symptoms simply unable to print. The cause needs admin whoops admin privileges and res rev resolution will be give the user admin privileges. The web link might be something like www.microsoft.com which you can also copy and paste web links. I think I spelled that wrong. You can copy and paste web links if you want to give access to a specific article that supports this knowledge base article. See also might be copiers or printers and applies to enable to print. Now I can save and exit and I've just created a knowledge base article. You can access the knowledge base article through the viewer. Simply search by symptoms, cause, or resolution. And if I go to symptoms, I can type in printers and it will automatically query all of my uh, articles by that keyword in the symptoms link and then I can just click the number and there I have a detailed description of what my issues are and what the resolution might be. You can also if you link it to the customer when you go to that customer profile in this case we'll go to data tech and then I click on the knowledge base tab under the profile for the customer I'll see any knowledge base uh, articles that are associated with that client so I can quickly find out what another technician has done to resolve any issues for that client. This is very useful when you're tackling common problems with software or printers uh, or issues that are specific to this client. It helps the other technical support agents quickly get to the root of the problem and find out what you've done to fix it in the past. Thank you for your time in the Knowledge Base training session.